It's a division matchup. Tigers on the road as Detroit goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Baseball, Major League style on 2K Sports. The White Sox call this one home, U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt, getting ready for some offensive punch. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. The starting pitching will see Jared Washburn. Dave, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Take a look at Jimmy Leland's lineup. This is brought to you by Pepsi. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, you know, when you look at a lineup and how it's constructed, we always look at it as, how does he hit? But let's take a look at Brandon Edge and what he can do defensively. Even if he's not swinging the bat, he's one of the best third basemen in baseball. And watch him take a ball down the line and watch that cannon of an arm. He can really put it on you. And Brandon Edge at the plate. Last time out, a loss for the White Sox. That was game two of this three-game set against the Tigers. Washburn set and delivers. Oh. Cutter just missing. The heroics in that last game almost brought him back. Yeah, almost. Really close coming down the stretch, but they just didn't have enough to get it done. And that's over for a strike. One and one. That changeup got away from him a little bit right there, but he did get a strike out of it. The one-one pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Carlos Guillen up. Hitting 324 lifetime against the White Sox. Oh, Swing and a miss and a ball below the knees. Nothing in one. Uh, Got to be feeling good today. Picked up a couple hits in the game last night. Washburn set and delivers. Oh. Ian will foul that one away. Liner towards the hole. Still a bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first, second place the Royals, Twins in the third spot, fourth place the Indians, and rounding out the list the Tigers. And it's Miguel Cabrera now. Cabrera will foul that one away. Miguel Cabrera not fooled by that pitch. That'll even the count. Flat fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. And Cabrera goes down swinging that strike three. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear down, work his way out of this jam, and keep the score tied. So with one down, it'll be Maglio Ordonez. I drove in three runs in that ball game last night and got the job done when runners got on base. Right. We'll play the cutter that time for a call strike. The career batting average, just 154 against Jared Washburn. Washburn set and delivers. Hard grounded a short. The second, there's one. And the double play, they got a move. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And the White Sox, their first chance has come. And Jeremy Ponderman gets ready to throw. He's starting for Detroit. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, in this matchup for the pitcher, not the best matchup for him. So he really has to limit base runners right now. Don't give this quality lineup too many opportunities to score runs. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. One of the best batting averages in the league. 
First pitch on the way to Damon. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Swings, hits this one very high in the air, deep left center. Tell it goodbye. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball, one nothing. Quite a way to start the day. First batter up was already one out of the park. And if you're the pitcher on the mound, you're not so sure you really wanted to start this day. Well, that's not the way he wanted to start the serve. He's got to shake it off, regroup, and go right back in. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. A swing and a miss. Ramirez, strike one. And yeah, we've got offense here in the first inning, just the way they wanted to start this ball game. Now the pitching's going to have to settle down here. Now I know it's early, but you don't want this thing to spiral out of control. Bonderman gets set and delivers. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. This pitch has a little life to it at 84 on the gun. That's a pretty good move. So he takes a cut on this one, trying to yank the chain. Comes up empty. Well, he thought he had that one dialed in, pitched right down the middle of the plate. What shock it was when it hit the catcher's mitt and he didn't make contact. These are the swings that make hitters want to change bats. Well, working on the old one count now. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. Swing and a miss gets away. He's heading for first. And he's out. They get him with that throw to first base. Now, uh, Gary's really going for it there, but the catcher's able to get a handle on it. Get it over to first base in time. If he doesn't get it there, who knows what it might lead to. Outstanding hustle to make sure he doesn't get on on a third strike. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball, but it is one of the more effective ones. He's got power. He can hit for average. And when he gets on base, he's a threat to steal. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, is somebody they've really come to rely upon. And Beckham's in the box. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down in the way. And Quentin's home. He tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. That's hit foul by Rios. Bonderman gets set and delivers. He strikes out Alex Rios in a swing and a miss. And so they quickly put up the first two runs here, getting an early lead. The White Sox lead two to nothing. Middle of the lineup coming along. It's Rayburn at the plate. Ryan Rayburn. Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. I was coming off a game last night where he had two big hits, and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. 
No balls, one strike. Washburn looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0 2. Swung on and a ground at a first. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. It's going to be Santiago now. Batting one for five lifetime off Jared Washburn. One out, nobody on. Ball Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. A two seam fastball, such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. 1 0 delivery is a fastball in there, 1 1. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. And that's hit Damon to field, and it falls in there for a base hit. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League rankings. Tenth in batting with runners in scoring position. 10th in ERA, and they're in the top 10 in strikeouts. That pitching staff with quality stuff and great location that throws strikes and works ahead in the count. No balls, one strike, Washburn. And it's through. That's a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, there's no reason in the world for any hitter to want to swing at that pitch. A pitch down out of the strike zone. Never had a chance at all to be a strike. But that's why we're up here talking about it. And he's down there doing it. He can get his bat on that ball to get a hit. And Gerald Laird looks at that one for a ball. That'll even up the count. He deals. 1-1 one, one pitch is a circle change. That hits the target. 1-2. One two on its way. Swing and a miss. Strike three on Gerald Lair. That's about as straight as a string right there at 84 miles per hour. Pulls the string, a changeup, John, to sitting down. Well, he followed up an off speed pitch with that great changeup. Let you know that he has a lot of confidence in that pitch today. Two men on and two men out. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. It's fouled away. And he fouls off another one. Swung on, that is hit. And he is safe at first. He's on board. And now in a key moment in this ballgame, here is Brandon Inge. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. And in settles in for the first pitch. Starts him out with a cut fastball for a strike. I looked locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. Swing, hot shot. He's up with it. And he'll step on the bat. That'll do it. Well, they do load the bases on two hits, but can't push across any runs. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. Clear skies and U.S. Cellular Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Leading it off, A.J. Brzezinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Bonderman gets set and delivers. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And that swung on and hit. Ordonez is going to play it. Catch is made. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. 
Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Guillen will field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Designated hitter. Number 27. And Jim Tomey. Right there on the top five in home runs. And it's 0-1. Bonderman gets him looking. Look, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Gone. That's a dinger. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So, really, this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch on the way to Damon. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. This is, Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, you want to have the beginning. When you get that opportunity, put a crooked number up on the board. And he watches the outside pitch from Bonderman for a ball. Well, he went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Good eye. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Well, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. A shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's the delivery. Swung out and missed. On one. He delivers. And it's 0 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox up three. Number two hole set to get things started. Skian leads it off. He singled in his last at bat. For nine, Carlos Guillen. First pitch, AB begins to Guillen. Lined right at the second baseman. One down. Our State Farm leaderboard, the group of arms, have been lights out over the past ten games. The Angels number one, White Sox in second, third the Rays, Rangers four, number five the Royals rounded out. We take a look at these low ERAs right here. It really points to a philosophy for the organization: limit the damage. Don't give up the multiple runs in an inning. Give up one, but don't give up a bunch. Washburn set and delivers. Line drive. So Cabrera is set down. Two outs and in the box, Maglio Ordonia. And Ordonia settles in, first pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And that's a base hit. Ordonia's on. Well, with that big two out hit right there in this inning, you know the manager's in there telling him, let's not let him breathe. Let's not let him get that third out. Let's score before this inning's over. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch on the way. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your arm. Still unable to score. Detroit still nothing on the board. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. Well, leading the league in home runs. Number 14, Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Oh, that one's too low. Bonderman missing. 
Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. This ball is hammered deep right. Bounces up against the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, these kind of hits right here, a double with no outs to start an inning. Really puts the pitcher at a disadvantage and puts a lot of added pressure on that pitcher. Now a single can bring home a run. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quentin. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Second base occupied, nobody out yet. And Laird spotting the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And I'll break it down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. And one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look, you can throw it out there consistently. You keep doing it, you're going to have a lot of success. Here it comes. Can't believe he swung at that. That's going to be a strikeout on the pitch in the dirt. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Well, check out the movement on this on K Cam. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Here's Alex Rios now. RBI chance. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense and somebody they've really come to rely upon. And a ground ball, Cabrera. And Canerco will score. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 12, A.J. Brzezinski. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. It's going to be Brzezinski. And Steve, the, he swings now and really hit that. That's Quinton is headed for third. And mark your calendars this Friday. It's going to be Joe Maurer and the Minnesota Twins. They play host to the Los Angeles Angels. Start time is 8 o'clock Eastern. And Mark T into bat. Two men on, two men out. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Jeremy Bonderman now has him 0 and 2. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Will they scratch across a run? Three hits and a couple left on. The White Sox, four run lead. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. Jimmy Leland looking on. His club did not get out to the start they had hoped for. A long ways to go to get back. Washburn set and delivers. Played by Canerco. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. You, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. Larish at the plate. He has one hit, 12 at bats. Not much lifetime against the White Sox. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Now, Gary, he's been doing a nice job of kind of dancing out there on the mound. He's had some base runners out there, been able to make pitches and let the defense make plays behind him. So he's done a nice job pitching out of trouble. Towards center field, and he gets it down. He's two for two now. 
That'll bring up Gerald Laird and a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. Gerald Laird. Series with Detroit concluding today. We'll get on the road tomorrow. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. After that, they kick off a series with the Kansas City Royals, a little division rivalry, the team they rolled over last time out. A lot of road games on the way. Washburn and now, safe at first. The Here's a prime Detroit production Tigers. opportunity for the Tigers. Well, he's trying to advance the runners with this bunt. He's not bunting for a base hit, but once he got it down, he realized this is going to be a tough place. So we hustled down the line. They couldn't Great get anybody one. out. And it's Everett batting. Batting average 247 off the White Sox. Lays oh, off a called strike 0 and 1. Washburn set and headed for the middle. And he's up with it. That's one. And they get two. Great double play. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. And it'll be the White Sox. And Jim Tomey to lead it off. What a year for him. Top five in homer. Number 27, Jim Tomey. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Oh, Bonderman gets him to go after that one, and he missed it. It'll be a strike. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. No, oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. Now, Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads-up play. There's a big two right there. Nobody on base. One away. The pitch. First pitch is a slider in there. 0 and 1. A look at the numbers in this matchup. 3-0-2 against the Tigers. Hit hard to second. Santiago. And so Damon retired. And on the State Farm leaderboard, we have a look at the best on base percentages around the league. Boy, a tough group of hitters right here to pitch to. They battle, they scratch, they claw, they find a way to get on base. And they really wear down the opposing pitcher. And uh, in the batter's right box, one. it's Ramirez. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Right Jeremy two. Bonderman now has him 0-2. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating one, pitch. Two. And the hitter just couldn't catch up. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. White Sox four. Detroit nothing. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And Brandon Inge at the plate. And in settles in for the first pitch. Plays off a called strike of the knees, 0 1. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup, and when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. And it's Carlos Guillen in the box now. Grounded out his last time through. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. So Guillen is set down. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one. The A's second. Third, the Mariners. The Twins fourth. And it's the Yankees number five. Well, these are the teams whose philosophy is throw strike one, pound the strike zone, try to retire hitters in three pitches or less. They're getting it done. And the pitch is taken for a strike by Cabrera. A three for seven career batter off Jared Washburn. Miguel Cabrera not fooled by that pitch. That'll even the count. 
Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Started to go around, but a called strike one and two. Washburn set and hit up the middle. And Cabrera's got himself a hit. That's going to bring Maglio Ordonez up. He right, takes this one two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Washburn set and delivers. Line shot into center field. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Fantastic chance here. Wow, he had three big hits in the last game, and that was on the winning side. And he's getting them going again with that at bat. And the first pitch. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. In his career, he's 0 for 5. Washburn. That misses downstairs for a ball. 1 and 1. Now the 1-1 one, one pit back up the middle. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. And Cabrera will score. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. But one of the rare hitters in all of baseball that really struggles with that pitch right down the middle. But he got his bat on this one and managed to get a hit. Drives him out with a fastball for a strike. Now Brzezinski positions himself towards center field. That's down. The run's coming in. Well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get an out? That's now four straight hits he's given up. Larish at the plate. Well, Steve, they've got plenty of time in this ball game, and what you got to do is peck away at that lead in the yard. Uh, Gary, that hit right there could prove to be a key at bat in this game. They've just narrowed the deficit. That was a big one. And what you've done is you've put a little question mark in the opponent's mind here. All of a sudden, it's not right their on. game. And now time is called, and they're coming out of the dugout and heading to the mound. Now you don't know how long he's going to stay with this pitch. You're going to have to wait and see what. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Well, they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. He doubled at his last appearance. Number 14, Paul Kodarko. And he starts Kodarko out. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Uh, had some difficulty making contact in the game last night, striking out twice. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, the two-seamer has his timing way off. He swung and missed, swung way too early. Bonderman winds up for the one-two pitch. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively, two consecutive punch outs. Carlos Quinton batting now, there's one down, leading the MLB in batting average. Slider swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat, just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Here's the pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Though so Quinton is retired. Now we have a moment courtesy of State Farm. Let's see who has the league league in hits. And Beckham's in the box. Career batting average 244 against the Tigers. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a foul off to the right side. A line drive towards the hole. That one right through the defense. A base hit. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Here's what's next for the Tigers. We'll wrap up the Chicago series today. Rios. And it's a road trip to take on the Yankees and their great first baseman, Mark Teixeira. It's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That'll be Monday through Thursday. They look to tip the balance against a team that looks pretty even against them on paper. 
Cleveland Indians. And one of the top ten averages right now. Runner on first, two away. And he starts Rios out. Out in front on that one, strike one. Well, he's getting the job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. That one swung on, hit in the air. Yeah, you know, it's not just the players who make a great plays. How about the catch by the fan right there? This is a Rex Barney. Give him a contract play. Well, that's why you bring your glove to the ballpark. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Next up, Tigers. It's layered at the plate. Catcher number eight, Gerald Laird. Washburn set and delivered. Oh, Fastball in the dirt that time. He stays off it. Darrell Laird swings and misses. Count now even. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though. Two and one. The two one pitch. He fouls that one off. Oh! Swing of the pitch. Outstanding pitch. That change up down and in right there completely fooled the hitter. Base is empty. One out. Here's the first pitch. A line drive towards short. And it's caught by Ramirez. Just now to look at the league leaders for triples brought to you by State Farm. A look at Inge. He's number five. Well, he can drive the ball, and his speed is a real asset for him. And, you know, makes him among the league leaders in triples so far this year. And it's one of the most exciting plays in the game. Fans love triples. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0-1. No balls, one strike, Washburn. And with two strikes on him, now in, he'll protect the strike zone. Now, change up is one thing, but if you leave it over the heart of the plate, you're going to get hurt. Ball! Has to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off, and uh, one, two count. The one two pitch. Foul ball! Swung on and fouled away. The pitch, and he strikes him out. He catches Brandon Inns looking for something else. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He's still looking to preserve the lead for the win. We'll go to the last of the six now. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. going to be Przinski and one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. The first pitch. Bonderman gets him to go after that one and he missed it. It'll be a strike. On the way. Hard grounded a short and that'll put Przinski on first. That brings up Mark Tian. These teams have been hard to hit against. State Farm brings you the leaderboard for batting average against. The Yankees, number one. The Red Sox, second. The Angels, third. A's, fourth. And for the Tigers, fifth. Well, one of the reasons why this team wins so many games is the fact that there's not a lot of guys on base. 
And when you don't get a lot of guys on base, it makes it very difficult to score a run. It also gives your offense, though, an opportunity to drive some runs in and to beat teams because of that great pitching. Out on the mound, we will see Phil Cope as the Tigers turn to him in relief. Great season, top 10 in RBIs. Got him, one away. Here's the slider coming right at you in K-Camp. You better look at that. Number 27. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. One out man on first. Here it comes. Swing and a long high drive left field way back there. Now a four run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. in the replay the pitcher trying to go up and away to paint that outside corner he just locked in on the ball and drove it out of the park man did he hit that ball hard and that's going to be good for a couple of RBIs now White Sox lead expanded here Gary they just keep getting big hits number 18 Johnny Damon one out faces him Here's the pitch. Swing and a shot to third. And so Damon retired. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. Top five AL and run scored. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats. Ball is blasted on a long high drive deep to center field. Goodbye, home run. And one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Well, he got every last little bit of that one as it totally clears the center field wall. Keep in mind, that's the biggest part of this ballpark, and it wasn't even close to being in. Well, that's a great swing and strength coming into play. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. A fastball up and away. It's awfully tough to catch up with it because you want to try to hit it deeper in the zone and go the other way. Before you know it, it's by you. Drill towards the hole. Now That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Here are the players with a little something extra. Extra base hit leaders this month, courtesy of State Farm. And he hits the ball. Right now he leads the AL. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws on the first side is retired. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. Carlos Guillen up. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. Carlos Guillen. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. This one's hit high in the air to shallow right field. Beckham able to pull that one in. That's one away. First base. And it's Miguel Cabrera now. He had a single in his last time up. One out, nobody on. Washburn set and delivers. Deep right. And it's going to be Quentin. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. Well, it followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Hit up the middle. Washburn throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, that's one way to keep the pitch down down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. The White Sox still on top. 
here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gant. Uh, he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. Now the first pitch. Lined up the middle. Santiago. Well, that's one away. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. Change up, just misses. 1-0. Oh. Okay, there are so many different ways to get hitters out. Velocity, the change in velocity, deception, and movement. Well, his changeup gives you all of those. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch, a fastball, cut on, missed, 1-2. and two. You know, as a hitter with, with Gary, we talk about how the quality of this guy's changeup. It's so, so difficult because you want to get out there and jump on that fastball. But when you do, if you bring your hands with you, you've got no chance on a changeup. Ace is empty and two down. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs? I mean, they've been blowing out in this one so far. Put a, put a zero, <clears throat> put a zero up there, and let's see if the offense can get it done. Oh. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. Now the hitter didn't take the bait. That's a great pitch. That breaking ball down in the way, trying to get the hitter to chase. You have to give him credit. He didn't go out of the zone for it. And that will end the half inning as Ordonez makes the play. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. White Sox seven. Tigers two. Middle of the lineup, due up. It's Rayburn at the plate. He'll lead it off here. Inning number eight. Number 25. Ryan Raver. And the first pitch. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Washburn. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. You gotta like this, trying to make something happen. You need base runners. You gotta get on and let the rest of the lineup do their thing. Good punt. And here's the first one. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken first strike. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Washburn, not in time. He is safe and on. Here's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. Sometimes you just have to force the defense to make a play. You get the butt down and see what happens. In this situation, it worked out for the best. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. Ball two. Here's a breaking ball, too low, 2 and 0. Here's the pitch. That one misses, it gets away from the catcher. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. Right. Fastball, he's taking all the way, 3 and 1. Well, when you're down by this much, you need a lot of base runners. You need a rally, so you don't have to swing to get on. You can take the walk, so maybe take another pitch right here. He's ready. The 3-1. That fastball is in there. He lays off it. Now 3-2. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Straight away left. And that's in there. Rayburn coming to the plate. Now and the Detroit the Tigers. Detroit wow, Tigers. what a momentum swing for them. For eight. Well, you would like to see him done it on the first pitch, get that base hit. But if it took a while, it doesn't matter if you're the hitter. As long as that base hit gets put in the column, he is rewarded, and he deserves it. Swing, soft liner towards right center. And that looks like an RBI and a single. Well, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. I mean, now it's four straight hits. He's got to start wondering what's going on. Maybe he's tipping his pitches, or they're just figuring him out. 